In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to build email funnels and automation inside of ConvertKit. Welcome, I'm Pamela Bassa, the founder of The Lucrative Lady, and I am so excited about this video because I'm going to be walking you through one of my favorite platforms, ConvertKit. Now, what is ConvertKit? ConvertKit is a creator marketing platform. Yes, it is one of the most essential tools that I've used to grow my business and listen and I never ever shy away from talking about ConvertKit like ever. So I'm so excited just because I know it's gonna give you a ton of value. Today I'm gonna to be breaking down one of the most uh, questions that I get asked and I teach about this in my program. So I sort of figured it would be really great to share with you on this channel as well. I'm talking all things automation and email funnels, which is what literally gives you your time back so that your business can run for you even when you're not actually actively running it or working inside of your business. You know. It's all about working smarter, not harder. So how do we do this? Through ConvertKit. We're gonna be diving into the automation sections of ConvertKit and I cannot wait to show you because it is like stepping into uh, a sweet shop. Honestly, it is amazing. The various types of automation that you can have, I cannot wait to show you that. In order to truly have that hands-free business that I know that you want, that business that runs by itself, we're going to need something known as automations and ConvertKit is really great at automations. So what are automations? Automations are essentially a series of rules that you're giving ConvertKit for a specific sequence or some sequences together. So it's just rules. But the beauty about automations is that it really is, it really is like a tin of tomato. It does what it says on the tin. It automates your business. So you know that when somebody is inside of an automation, they that specific subscriber is going to follow the set of rules that are contained within that automation. I feel like I'm saying a lot of words and I really ought to be showing you instead. So why don't we jump in to my ConvertKit account and I can show you how to build automations using your sequences. So let's take a look at how to create automations inside of ConvertKit. So you go over here to automate and when you hit the drop down here, you're going to see lots of different um, options. We need this one that says visual automations. Once you get into visual automations, you can see over here that I already have a lot of uh, visual automations running the various parts of my business. And if I uh, point your direction here, uh, for example, you can see that it can get, you know, seemingly complicated, as you can see. So this is pretty simple, right, because it's, a, it's one straight line. But when you get into something like this, where it's, you know, it's it's lots of different automations happening um, inside of this specific sequence. In fact, let me open this up so that we can see. So you can see that there are various entry points to this specific automation. So there is a form that people can join or they are tagged with this specific tag or they are tagged with this specific tag, for example. And you can see how many people have joined based on, you know, how uh, they came in. You can see that they get tagged here again. Uh, they get tagged here again. So they don't know that this is happening, by the way. They, you know, the subscriber doesn't know what tags are going you know, onto their name, and then they get access to this sequence, and then they get split over here. So um, this one says, has RS RSVP, high ticket funnel tag. If they have, they go down this path. If they don't have, they go down this path. So this allows me to see how many people have clicked on a specific link that has RSVP, high ticket funnel. So I know that over here, only two people click that link. So, I, so now I know that uh, perhaps that tag, you know, wasn't even necessary because not many people are clicking it and, you know, people are literally bypassing and going down this route, um, etc. And, you know, so they, they just keep moving and all I have done is reroute them according to where I want them um, to be. So everybody ends up here. Then, of course, uh, they get tagged here again. They wait, wait two days and they continue to receive um, uh all other uh, uh, sequences as part of this uh, sequence, uh, essentially. And it just keeps going and keeps going and keeps going. And so this is a pretty, I would say, uh, pretty mature funnel. It's a pretty mature uh, uh, automation because I have put in so much work into this. And with this specific automation, uh, when people get into it, they can be in here. I think it's probably three or six months long uh, along those lines in this specific automation. So I want to show you how I create automation. So we start here by going into new automation. 
and you have various options here. So ConvertKit has added lots of templates which you can uh, use um, and I've, I've certainly used these and they work well but I always do prefer to start from scratch only because I do know what I'm doing already but if I were just starting from um, you know starting with ConvertKit from you know, as a new user, I would use these automations. So you have an automation pre-built to release a new album, to run a paid newsletter, to welcome subscribers to your podcast, grow your audience and spark loop, share social media content, release a new podcast, release a new book, launch a fan club, and all of these amazing uh, templates that you have. And it just keeps going, guys. Like seriously, it is amazing. Host a webinar, promote a digital product. There's so much that you can um, that you can use. I'm actually tempted to begin with one of these. Uh, let's see, Evergreen Podcast, newsletter, that could work for what I want to show you. Um, or we could start from scratch. So let's do that, start from scratch over here. So when you start from scratch, it's actually very, very easy. The first thing I always do is um, name the automation. So I'm going to click this pencil and I'm going to name the automation. Uh, this is just for me so I can remember that it's a demo, okay? Now, once you've named your automation, you click over here to start building and then you have various options. There are four ways that you can begin an automation. One is that somebody joins a form or they're added to a tag or they have a custom field or they have purchased something. So it's completely um, up to you according to, um, you know, how your business is built. So what I prefer to do is either they've joined the form or they have been added to a tag. So let's imagine that they had joined the form. So a form inside of ConvertKit is either just a form or a landing page. All of that is a form. And I have several built inside of ConvertKit. So I'm going to leave this as it's already navy blue, so it's already pre-selected. Here it says any form. So I can hit this drop down and I can see all my forms that I have created, right? Or, whoops, disappeared, hold on a minute, start again. Or I can click over here to create a new form or landing page. See how easy ConvertKit is making that for us. So ConvertKit is saying, hey, Pam, if you don't already have a form here that you, know, that you want to use for this, just click over here and create a new one. Okay, so I'm going to click over here and just create a new form like this. Like so, like so. And I'm going to hit save. Whoops. Okay, so here it is. It's lifted that into my automation already. Now, the only thing that I didn't do there is I didn't rename the form, hence why I went, oops, just a minute ago. So I needed to rename this form. You wouldn't want to keep it as what it is called, which is Charlotte form. You want to name it something that you can remember. So I'm going to click on edit step over here. Or rather, hold on. Whoops. Here we go, so Charlotte form, so demo form, so that I can remember. Okay, so now I'm back. Let's open the automation again. Here we are, right, so it's now called demo form. So now I'm saying to convert it when somebody joins this form, what do I want them to do next? Or rather, convert it, what do I want you to do next? Now, there are two ways you can go. You can either click this plus, in which case you can build out more options. So perhaps you're going to say to convert it when somebody joins this form or they join a tag, right? That's getting a little bit more advanced, right? So I want to keep it really, really simple. So I'm going to build downwards, okay? So I want to click on this plus over here and I'm going to say to convert it, convert kit, convert kit, when somebody joins this form, I want them to take a series of actions. So there are three things that they can do. They can, we can pull up an event, we can pull up an action, or we can pull up a condition. Now, events and condition becomes a little bit more complicated and majorly advanced. And when you use ConvertKit often enough, you will probably use this at some point, but to begin with, you're going to stay here in actions. So in actions, we're saying to ConvertKit, when somebody joins this form, I want you to do one of six things as an action. Either add them to an email sequence, add or remove a tag, set a time delay, add a custom field, move the subscriber, or indeed unsubscribe the subscriber. So you can do any of that under your actions. 
in this instance, because I've already created a, an email sequence that I want to use for this demo, I'm going to click over here to email sequence. So now that I've selected that, ConvertKit is now saying, Pam, what email sequence would you like me to, uh, to add people to? I'm going to hit this drop down and I'm going to look for my email sequence. So I have far too many. So I can just use the search bar. So let me see what I can find. So I have a lot of demo. This is the one I'm looking for because it has the word demo here. So now that I've selected that, I can click on add action. And that's it, right? This uh, automation is ready to go. Now, there are so many bells and whistles that I can add to this. I could add tags. I could add a custom field. I can build out other entry points for this specific sequence, uh, for this specific uh, automation. However, if you were just first getting started, you literally only need these two steps. One is how do they come into the sequence? And the other is where do they go once they've come in to this automation, right? So they come into the automation via a form and then they go into this sequence and that's all you need to do. Now, this sequence isn't going to work, however, until we turn it on. And so you go over here to turn on the sequence. So I'm gonna hit here and convert to saying, Pam, there are zero subscribers in this sequence. Turning it on will automatically advance subscribers uh, that are ready to progress. Please note that it may take a few minutes for the changes to be reflected in each step. And I click over here, I turn it on, and we are in business. We are good to go. And right now, I have just created a very simple automation inside of ConvertKit. So I hope you got a lot of value from this video for how to build email funnels and automation inside of ConvertKit. It's literally my favorite thing to do and what powers my business. I wanna hear your questions. Let me know what questions you have about automations, about funnels, I'm your funnel girl. So make sure you drop it below this video. And if you ever wanna check out ConvertKit, I highly recommend that you do. And in fact, I'm going to pop a special link in the description of this this video so make sure you click that link to check it out it'll give you access to a free trial that allows you to uh, use ConvertKit and build your email list from zero to a thousand subscribers without paying for ConvertKit so what's there not to love go ahead and check out the link below this video click that link in order to check out ConvertKit and I cannot wait to see all of the amazing automations that you build in your business before you go this video is a part of a wonderful series where I'm talking about ConvertKit my favorite creator marketing platform. So go ahead and click check out this playlist to see the other videos in this series. And I'll see you in my next video. See you then.